Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Banner Zoo. My name is Nissa and today I didn't only build this or this, but I also built this. And if you want to know how I made these three very different ape habitats, then please keep watching. Okay guys, clearly we have a lot to do here. We have three habitats, not three animal in one habitat, but we have three habitat to build right here and right now and that is of course the western lowland gorilla the bonobo and the western chimpanzee and i want to tackle this information part a little different uh basically a lot of the time when we talk about animals i can't help myself but kind of thinking of a lot of their habits and especially their mating system and all of this and compare it to our world and our lives. The apes here we have here are actually very, very close related to humans, bonobo most of all. But I just want to clarify here how close they actually are. And of course, we can do that by actually looking through the different classes of uh, animals so of course the kingdom is animalia humans bonobos gorillas and chimpanzees all belong there as uh, and also both the uh, film and the subfilm which is chordata and vertebrate then the class is mammalia all four of us are still here order is primates all four of us is still here then we come to the sub order which is a haplorhini which again all of us belong to then we have the infra order which is the semiforms which again is all of us then we have the familia and the fam family is hominidae hominidae is Humus. Therefore, it's us. It's the Western Lowland Gorilla, or oh, all of the gorillas basically. It's the bonobos and it's also the chimpanzee. Where the change happen isn't before the genus, which also splits these animals apart, and not only us humans, where the gorilla has the genus gorilla, and the species of the gorilla is the gorilla, gorilla, gorilla which is perfectly normal, I guess. Uh, that was for the Western Lowland Gorilla and not for all Gorilla, so. Uh, the Bonobo and the Western Chimpanzee um, is, uh, do have the same genus, which is Pan, but where the species of the Bonobo is Paniscus, uh, the um, species of the Western Chimpanzee is Pan Troglodytes Varus. I will clarify that the reason both of them is in Pan is because technically bonobos are also uh, uh, chimpanzees, which I will come into a little later. Um, so we are very close. If you want to know, our genus is, of course, Homo sapiens and our species is as far as i remember homo sapiens sapiens i think i have it here yeah uh sapiens uh so our genus is homo uh, and our species is homo sapiens so we are so closely related to the animals so i really want to go in here and look very much about the behaviors and see can we learn anything for these animals or could these animals learn anything from us? Keep in mind, it is not a new thing that both all kinds of apes are used both in pharmaceutical testing, uh, makeup testing, which I'm not a fan of, but it is what it is. Um, but also very many, many places we have used them over time to test not only pharmaceuticals but also kind of safety uh keep in mind that especially the gorilla is much more 
um, uh, built with not armor, but much better built than we are uh, for a lot of things. So it wouldn't be a fair test, to be honest. But there's a reason why we compare so much to them. However, our intestines aren't exactly the same. Our manners aren't exactly the same, but that's what we're gonna go into. However, I didn't get all the information I wanted about the Western Lowland Gorilla, but since it is a subspecies of the Western Gorilla, I will take some information from there and I will try to clarify it. The same with the Western Chimpanzee, which is a subspecies of the common chimpanzee. So I will take some of my information from there and I will try to clarify it. However, the Bonobo have all of the information I need over there, so that's just perfect. And I will also try to say them in the right order all the time, which is Gorilla, Bonobo, Chimpanzee, because that's the order I'm building for them here. You will also see a few cuts through these videos today because basically I did some of the same things for multiple habitats. So for instance, the walls and so I'm not going to show you me doing it three times. And I hope you appreciate that. The three of them are, of course, apes and they look very, very distinctive. Again, if you just see one from afar, it can be a little difficult. And especially here where while I'm building, I understand it can be hard to see. But let's go over them very fast uh, how they look. The gorillas are, of course, most famous for their silverback, which have this beautiful grayish color on the back. Uh, and they are the biggest one. They also the one famous from Tarzan, where you can see that giant muscles they also have a prominent mousy area that sticks a little more out than other apes do they have kind of small ears i think uh, and then they have these kind of weird eyebrow area uh, it's not eyebrows because it's not hair but it is like the structure of the face goes out where our eyebrows would be uh, and they have this leathery texture skin in the face, their hands, their feet. Um, yeah, and their bum. They have this very thin but well textured fur, which gives them kind of a rough look sometimes. But in my eyes, they are still very gorgeous. The Bonobo, on the other hand, again, have some of the same features, but even though they still have a lot of muscles, their muscles are just longer and thinner. They have a bigger bold uh, part in the forehead, like the forehead continues up to the middle of the face. They kind of look very much like a old man, a very old chimpanzee or something like that. They also have a prominent mouth area, but where on the gorilla, it's more like very much shape. It kind of pink, it looks a little more like it's just hanging out, a, a hanging part that just hangs loose out from the face, to be honest. They also looks more wrinkly and old overall. The texture of the leathery parts, which is the same parts, uh, are very much lighter and more textures uh, and more wrinkly all over. They have, however, the skin tone part, both in, uh, in their mouth area, their eyelids, and you can actually also see it some places through the fur because the fur is so much thinner. However, I do not find it super attractive as an animal, but the scary part is it is the one that looks more, most like humans, if you ask me. And here I already run out of a lot of specific on the wisdom chimpanzee. So we're going to go to the common chimpanzee, which again have this leathery texture skin. But here it's even more skin color. It still have the dark part, but the light uh, skin color part on the uh, mouth area is bigger. It also has some around the brows. The ears also is sometimes more skin color, like human light skin color. I will clarify it uh, when I say it. Um, and the hands and feet can also have some of these lighter texture. The fur is 
thicker, uh, it's still long hair, so it looks much more bushy, and the uh, main part of the body is completely covered with fur, compared to the bonobo that, as I mentioned before, looks a little naked in a way. Both the names for the uh, Western Lowland Gorilla and the Western Chimpanzee are very easy, just those names. Uh, and then they, of course, refer to the animals they are subspecies of, being the common chimpanzee and the Western Gorilla. However, the Bonobo actually have a lot of names here, which is, for instance, the Pygmy Chimpanzee, the Dwarf, the Racil Chimpanzee, uh, and so on, which all mean the smaller chimpanzee. Are they smaller? Though, technically, yeah, but also no, where the bonobo weighs from 30 to 60 kilos. The common chimpanzee weighs 32 to 60 kilos. Uh, again, very, very close. Only 2 kilos on the lower end uh, to the first. So I do not understand that name specifically. Um, however, the chimpanzee again have multiple subspecies, so some can be bigger than others, where the bonobo only have the one variation. And looking at the big fat uncle, to be honest, uh, the gorilla, of course, here uh, I'm looking at the western gorilla here because I don't have it on the lowland. Um, the weight varies from 80 to 157 kilos being 160 to a, a, a 314 pounds so it's clearly weighs a lot more actually up to like uh five times more or something like that and in case anyone forgot it is the bonobo i built for at this point all three uh, apes lives of course in africa where the a uh, western lowland gorilla lives in equatorial Guinea, Angola, Angola, sorry, Cameroon, Central Africa, Republic, Congo, and Gabon. The Bonobo lives uh, basically sub Sahara Africa, which sounds like a big area, but uh, I can see on the map it is this little spot in the middle. Uh, let me see, it says here Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, and uh, uh, bordered by the Congo River. So if anyone knows where that is, that may help you. Uh, and the Western Chimpanzee lives in Cote de Lavour, Guyana, Guinea, Guinea Bissau, Liberia, uh, Mali, Senegal, and Sierra Leone. So they don't live exactly the same uh, countries, but they live closely related if you can say it that way i hope that made sense the uh, western lowland gorilla lives in forest and rainforest but mainly in the tropical climate zone and the bonobo does the same however the western chimpanzee lives in the still in the forest but also out on the savannah uh, however, it doesn't say climate zone here, but if I look at the common one, it also say tropical. So I assume that's, <laughs> yeah, that's the same, uh, basically. I just squeeze a quick reminder in here that we get the new DLC this Tuesday. So therefore, there will be some strange things going on. For instance, this video goes up when I normally don't put a video up. Uh, because I want to get this uh, to done because again I use mod in here so it will be closed after the new DLC uh, however we will of course make a new one and uh, that's just how it has to work uh, therefore this Saturday I will have a live stream so we will make a final suit tour go through it if you are there live you can of course ask questions and otherwise if you don't have the time there uh, the video will be up afterwards if you want to see me go through it all. However, I may not uh, have time to get all of the videos out there yet. I will have made the habitats, but I'm not sure I have finished the videos. 
so maybe you can see something in there that where uh, the video will not go up until sunday or monday uh, just to clarify anyway back to the animals and just for fun i would actually like to read just the first sentence of everything here about the uh, ha habits for the western gorilla here not the western lowland because i got, don't have that information however the western gorilla the first sentence under habits and lifestyle is these depend sorry these primates are highly social animal for the bonobo the first sentence is bonobos are social animals and for the not western chimpanzee but common chimpanzee is this Chim chimpanzees are very social animals so of course here we clearly have something in common i know i myself isn't the most social person out there uh, as some of you guys know however i know as a species we are so socially uh, based everything in our society is based on social interactions and basically the way things works in our world wouldn't be able to be the way it is if we didn't have that show, social bond in between and not only with our with our family and our friends but also with the uh, public system that is also a social interaction even though most of us do not like it too much uh, it is a social interaction so here clearly we have something very important in common with the primates that shows us that their way of existing is basically closely related to ours when we dig a little closer into it here the western gorillas are again social animal uh, but they live in groups from 5 to 15 individuals which is a lot more than what frontiers allows us these groups will be built out of one alpha male which is also known as the silverback and uh, his wives which of course he will mate with all of them if he can uh, get the time to do it uh, and then of course the offspring they are all they are uh, nomades i think it's called they move around their range where the heavier individuals will walk on the ground where the lighter weight one which could be a smaller female or just younger individuals will instead swing in the trees since they move around that much they don't have a permanent sleeping place so they make small nests from day to day where they sleep at night here we see a behavior that i personally wouldn't appreciate since i do really much uh, like to have my safe space here at home but i do know some people especially in their youth want to see the entire world and want to move around every single day to not uh, step down and do what everyone else do but just see the world and experience the world in a different way uh, every day so it is a behavior i can recognize with some humans though i can't understand it the the western gorilla is overall a very peaceful animal which is very lucky since they are big and they are strong however they don't prefer to pick a fight with anyone but if they feel threatened or anything like that they will yell very 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 hard they will also of course protect themselves but for instance the silverback if some other male try to take his place they will yell very 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 high stand on their hind legs and push uh, or yeah push what's uh, beat themselves on the chest uh, and look very 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 uh, dangerous basically to show off their big teeth but more commonly than not one of them will uh, retreat very fast basically because this is an animal built to look threatening more than it built to actually be threatening 
So their nature is very, very, very calm and very, very peaceful. But of course, if a very peaceful, family loving man feel like he or his family is threatened, he will start stand up and yell, which again is something I have seen multiple times with humans. However, I have also seen moms do the same, which we don't see with the gorilla where it is the male that will stand up. The mom will stand and yell if there's something like like a predator coming, of course she will yell then, but it will be up to the male to really look terrifying uh, at the predator. If it is a smaller predator, the bigger ones they will more commonly try to climb away from up in the streets. Bonobos, on the other hand, is a bit of another story though. Uh, they still travel around in groups which normally would be between three and six individuals or sometimes up to ten. Their group is however a little more mixed where both males and females are in multiple numbers within the group. They can also gather up with other groups without issues as long as there's plenty of food. So they can meet up in big groups where there's a lot of fruit and vegetables and what they want to eat. But when they start moving around again, they will go back to their normal group. These groups are very interesting based on the fact that we have been a whole lot of monkeys on this channel. I know monkeys and apes are not the same, but for a lot of monkeys, the rule is that males, when they are old enough, they will be kicked out of the group and need to find another. That doesn't happen here. The males will stay within the group they are born into their entire life. Females, however, will need to move. Which, again, the opposite than monkeys. Um, where, so here, the females, when they're old enough, they will move on. I'm not sure here, it didn't specify if they get kicked out or they choose to leave, but they will find a new group. They can, however, get... Uh, a place in hi the hierarchy, hierarchy, um, but not by her own accomplishments, since the males only have a, a structured hierarchy. The female's hierarchy will only be based on the males, and not the males she mates with, but the males she gives birth to. So, for instance. You as a female are only able to have any place in our society and anything to say if you give birth to a man that give get a place in society, basically. That's it. And there I am so, so happy that we do not live like bonobos. And whereas the gorillas spend the most of the time, and especially the heavier ones, on their ground uh, and only use the trees if they are younger and kind of want to play and swing themselves around or to nest or if they need to hide for something. The bonobos actually use most of their time up there and only comes down if there's something they need to get down there with there isn't enough food in the tree so they go on the ground but mainly they will stay up there. Grooming is, of course, a very, very important thing for the bonobos. And this is, again, a feature which I myself feel is very, very important. And I love my grooming days. I do not do it the same as the bonobos. I love my nails. I love my hair. But I wouldn't like random people for that just live in the same group of me to come and pick at my skin that way. <laughs> the social interactions of the uh, uh, common chimpanzee here under also the western of course are uh, a lot more interaction full. It's not only grooming and feeding here but also playing around with other members of the group which both could be like kids and kids but also kids and adults and also adults and adults all play together in these groups. 
which is very very important because the bigger the group the harder it is to get to know everyone we know this as humans if we go to a school with i don't know a hundred people in the school you learned every single name there if you go to a school with 5,000 people, you will never <laughs> learn all of the names. And that's just how it is. So when the chimpanzees have groups that range from 15 to 120 individuals, these social interactions are even more important. Especially if you get unpopular with another bigger <laughs> chimpanzee over there. It's really important to have some friends that can come and help you out if needed. And it is kind of fun when you think about 120 individuals. That is a lot. However, that also depends on sufficient food and so on. They won't all be these giant groups, but it they can be if the right environment is around them. However, these are also more aggressive towards strangers. Then, for instance, we see with the bonobos and gorillas. Here we can actually see chimpanzees kill other members of other groups or entire other groups uh, if they basically feel like it because they are just not made to be that way. These are made very much to strengthen their own group and their own group only. Kind of... I won't say that word because I'm pretty sure YouTube don't like me too. <laughs> but you know exactly what I mean. And it's very different for what we see with the bonobo and the gorilla. However, we do see this with humans too, sadly. The western chimpanzee or common chimpanzees. Sorry, I get this mix up, but you know what I mean. Um do also like the gorilla travel on ground when they travel around which they will do from day to day however they still use a lot of the day up in the tree so they will of course travel shorter distances because they are shorter time on the ground they will do uh, of course be in the trees for a lot of the day too and they will eat up there they will poop up there they will sleep up there and that's just what they're gonna do through the day because through the night they also sleep these are very sleep loving animals and it's hard to be a functional individual in a social group like this i'm pretty sure a lot of people out there like me know this feeling where if i was around that many people all day i will need to sleep too however because they move around they also make nests uh, from day to day here they are more like the bonobo i know i didn't mention this before but they will do use a uh, twitch and branches to build the nest uh, and basically build a platform up in the tree and they will do this every day this is what the bonobos and chimpanzees do however the western gorilla because they spend so much time underground and sometimes also sleep underground they don't need a platform so instead they will build it off leaves and whatever they find of soft material to more make themselves comfy than make it like a pl platform which i found very interesting to be honest however i would if i should sleep like th this i would uh, prefer a platform in a tree with the soft uh, this on top of that personally if i had to but i prefer my soft bit and when it comes to the iucn red list i know the humans are a, probably at least concerned animal i haven't checked but i'm pretty sure war numbers is honestly a bit higher probably than they should be so that's not an issue however our furry cousins here have another issue the bonobo is sadly endangered and that is sad to be honest however it's better than the, both the western lowland gorilla and the western chimpanzee which both of them are critical in danger sorry endangered at this point 
Again, it's a sad story. I don't feel like going too much into it in this video. If you want me to, in another video, we can totally make another speed build for them. Because there's a lot you can do with habitats for these beautiful apes. Anyway, enjoy the cinematics and I will come back afterwards.
Okay, guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. That's all I got for you today. And uh, yeah, I know it was quite a long video today, but basically I just really want to show you all of these beautiful habitats before I get to the point where I can't enter the zoo anymore. You know how that is. Uh, so if you like me is a mod user, please remember to uninstall the mods on your game before the new update. Doesn't matter if you get the new DLC, it's the update that is the issue. However, remember the modders works very hard to update every single mod out there to make sure that you can get it in your zoo as soon as possible after the update. Anyway, guys, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. Really hope to see you again. Other than the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys.